Ashley's room one to show you something but two to just be quiet Ashley's been asleep down there for probably about a half hour maybe even more I finally caved and gave her like the equivalent of Benadryl allergy medicine like about an hour ago so at about 12 30 because ever since she woke up when did she wake up we are on a two hour delay for school. They are just being really cautious of ice. We didn't, we got snow last night. I didn't film yesterday, but we did get snow last night. Even down here, we got it. Um, I don't have any footage of it because it was really like anticlimactic, but we did get snow in the upper hills, but also everyone was worried about freezing temp. And so when they sent out the bus transportation, like tester at like 6 a.m. And then again at 6.30 a.m., they were like, okay, we're kind of okay. Don't have ice in the upper hills, but let's just be cautious in case it could freeze over in the next two hours. So they put it, put us on a two hour delay. And so they were home. Were they home from school yesterday? No, they weren't. I don't even remember anymore. Oh my gosh. I literally can't even remember if they went to school yesterday. I remember what day it is. It's Wednesday. They had late start, early let out. Anyway, I can't remember anymore, but they had two hour late start today. And Ashley, so I let her sleep in. Chelsea went to school. Abby has already gone to high school and I think she's still at the college. She'll be home any minute. But Ashley, I just knew how late she was up with hives again last night. It's a weird virus that it's just hives. The only symptom and you can only give her like the allergy meds to make it go away and to get her comfortable. Um, so she slept in till probably about 1030. I think she was awake just after I got home from dropping Chelsea off at school. So it's only been two, three hours since she's been awake, maybe even less than that. And within an hour of her waking up, uh, she was fine for the hour. And no, 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 she wasn't. She woke up and she just was I mean, it was like head to foot. And I was like, you're not going to school. Let's see if we can get it to calm down before you have to go. Yeah, she was awake for an hour before school started, before I had to take her to the school bus stop, which I'm not gonna do the snow route. You know how that went <laughs> the last time. But anyway, it never went away. It, I couldn't get it under control. It was just red, flary. I had given her her one um, daily dose that my dad suggested. And then after two hours, it still had not stopped flaring. She was so uncomfortable. And so I gave her the Benadryl. And <laughs> she's like, I'm so tired. It's the medicine. And I was like, and she knows, she knows that that's what's doing it. But I will say leading up to it, she was like, I need something to do with my hands. I need to occupy my mind. I need to keep busy to like stop itching because she knows that that's making it worse. And she's like, I'm sick of taking showers because then it washes off all the cortisone that I put on. And then I have to put more cortisone on it and we're just wasting it. And so she just hasn't taken showers because it doesn't really help a whole ton. She takes two, three showers a day and it's not helping. So she came up here and <laughs> finally cleared off her little um, dresser space in here um, and redid her little, uh, what do you call them? her little bracelets or whatever and put them up here. This is not even anywhere near how many she has. Just for whatever reason, these are the ones that she wants to display here in her room. We do have some fun um, things that might be happening in their bedrooms. Oh, but it's, we're like six plus months away from anything um, happening. So we'll share that later on. We might be doing some makeovers and updates and all that kind of stuff. Oh, and here's Ashley's this is another thing that she did to occupy her time. That is her, her championship banner that they won for being the judge's choice um, at their last competition. She has state cheer competition this weekend. We are all, me and Jason are going to go to, it's actually on my birthday. <laughs> so that's how we get to spend my birthday. Jason is taking me out for my birthday before that, but we'll, we'll get to that point another time. But she has state championship and then we have a team building meeting. And then finally, we are planning a meeting for us parents. And Abby said she's gonna come. Chelsea might come too, um, to finally talk about Japan. Cause like, we don't have some of the details like mapped out yet. Like it's really frustrating cause we don't have it all mapped out. We don't even have a hotel yet. <sighs> it's a whole story. Okay, let me be quiet. Let me go in here. I still am waiting for my friend to pick up that mattress. Her son has their truck over in Spokane. Okay, we're gonna come over here. Change of scenery. Let's just finish talking with you. But I wanted to tell you, I um, I really wanna get into bed. <laughs> That's not what I was gonna tell you. 
but our room is cold and so we finally turned the heat back off. I'm very excited. We had it on for like a week and a half. I know that sounds crazy, but our um, fireplace really heats up the house. And last night I told Jason, I said, if it stays above 40 tonight, we're turning the heat off. <laughs> because that fireplace heats up that main part of the room over there um, upstairs where the girls are and heats it plenty fine and I like my room cold but anyway so we're meeting together as parents to go over the Hawaii st or the Japan stuff see if we can like forego the travel agent who is trying to help us because I have, there's like three moms who are like we're finding a better deal on hotels like can we just book this and one of them is a Marriott and she's like we all have Marriott points like we all have like advantages to using a Marriott we're gonna do that um so I'm just trying to like keep her Ashley home from school today to be able to like do these things this weekend I know school is important but I can't send her to school with an entire body rash I've got to like hopefully get her through around day four and a half of this stupid rash of hers. But I will say, oh, you got a view of my messy night table. <laughs> it's like medicine row over here. It feels so old. It's like medicine and lotion and chapstick. That's all I need by my bedside and a charging station. But I did just do something really fun and exciting and I wish I could be downstairs in my office to do that with all the Hawaiian decor. Although I did the unfun portion of our travel bookings um, and that was the flight home from Hawaii. And I realized like halfway through the flight, I was like, or like when I was booking everything, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wanna make sure I have a window seat for me, um, one for the long flight. I like to sleep against the wall and then I wanna be able to like film coming into the island and blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, oh, I'm booking our return flight. We're leaving Hawaii. And I can, anyway, it's not as fun when you're leaving. So I can just hand the phone to, or the camera to someone to catch us leaving the island. I had to book all of our return flight and drum roll. I, 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 I will like take it to the grave on the deals that we are able to get in order to make these trips happen. Just gonna be pretty, you know, honest with you. I'll, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of, I guess the cost of this whole trip because some people are like, oh, I don't have that kind of, whatever. I'm gonna be honest with you because the Japan side, yes, it's expensive, but here's a little mom math. Here's a little girl math. The Japan and, and we'll end and with this flight that I just booked to come home, because obviously that's the last part of our trip. Our flight to Japan was about $4,500 for five people. So not bad, $1,000 a person. Our kids are paying for half of that flight each. So they're each paying me 450-ish um, for their half of the trip to Japan, because it is an extra for them to get to go. Ashley just earned the last of her money. She just sold some uh, car wash tickets to a friend. And so she is done earning her money and Kaylee, not Kaylee, Abby and Chelsea already had the money when we decided to go ahead and do this. Um, so they already have their money for the ticket. And then our flight from Japan to Hawaii was obviously, well not obviously, maybe. Our flight from Japan to Hawaii was half the cost of coming home. So it was only $2,500. So technically my girl math is I saved us half um, on the trip to like, or I guess a quarter. I saved us a quarter on the cost of going and coming home from Japan because we saved half on our return flight to go to Hawaii. So I saved us money. Either way, even if we had, so if we had not gone to Hawaii, we would have had to return from Japan and gone straight home. But I saved us half, I saved us half. So we get to Hawaii. I still need to book a little island hopper flight from Honolulu to Kauai um, because it was gonna cost me an extra $2,000 to get that direct flight like or to book it all at the same time from Japan I'm not gonna do that because it's like a $50 flight from Oahu to Kauai um, and I've just been asking on the Kauai Facebook pages um, how much time I need to leave for the customs in Honolulu and everyone is like you need about two hours to get through customs they all said and to get your bags but we are not we are not checking any bags all of these flights and and yes I am buying more bags <laughs> and buying one or two more bags. Um, but Jason is making me borrow three carry-on bags from friends, um, which I've already arranged. Cause he's like, let's not take on any extra expense. So, but I am gonna buy a new backpack for me cause I think it would become handy and I am doing something else later on in the year that it would come in handy for as well. Actually a couple some things that it would come in handy for. So we will do all of that in another video. So uh, we get to Hawaii. I need to book one more little island hopper flight. That's gonna maybe cost us what's 50 times five people. So 
a couple hundred dollars, not much at all to get to Kauai. Um, our stay in Kauai is costing a couple thousand dollars. I'm not gonna give the exact total because when we go to pay for it next month, we are going to keep paying for it with points. And we're gonna keep paying down the credit card bill, that portion of it, just the portion of our hotel, until we get to a point where like, okay, there's no more points to use, or we're at a point where we don't wanna use points, we're just gonna pay for the rest of the bill with cash. So it's only gonna cost us, we're hoping, about a thousand, maybe $2,000 for the hotel, which was supposed to be free. I will say that portion of it was supposed to be free, but I found a more expensive hotel. I found the Kaloa Landing Hotel, um, and we've all dreamed of going back there. We've stayed there twice when they were under construction, and we never got to utilize the entire pool, half the resort. <laughs> and so we're all dying to go back. And so this was a way to be able to afford it um, for as many people who as are going, having a portion of the flights covered and a portion of the of, of the hotel covered with points. That's kind of the reason we all, like Jason included, he's like, I'm dying. I really want to stay at this hotel and it'll be really fun. So there is a little bit of a cost there, but we're going to try and bring that down over the next couple months. And then the flights that I just barely finished um, booking, we had to wait until uh, all of our miles. So before we were waiting for points to roll forward in order to book that side of the trip. I was waiting on air miles for Hawaiian Airlines for our credit cards. I was waiting for two of those accounts to roll forward and get all of those accumulated. And then I was just waiting because I thought that I needed to have Jason on the call with me with customer service in order to buy the remaining miles I needed, but he didn't because it was on my account. So today I went, this is a lot, but I, I think you guys are interested in this stuff. Like everyone tells me that you are like, how do you make this stuff happen? And this is how you make it happen. Someone even said, yesterday said it's gymnastics. It's mental gymnastics to make travel happen like this. And a lot of people just aren't willing to make the make it happen and go through the gymnastics of making it happen. I am, I will I will flip and flip and flip until I make it happen, which is why it's wait, I've waited until today to make it happen because I just needed to make sure I had everything all lined up in order to make it happen. And I called Hawaiian today and I said I needed 2,500 more miles in order to make all of our flights free. So for the cost, technically, the cost of buying 2,500 miles, I had to add Jacob's return flight onto this because I could, because I had so many miles left over. I could, I could utilize them for his plane ticket, so why not? Um, and so I only had to buy 2,500 miles and that was $75. So it cost me $75 to fly Jacob home um, with the rest of us, which of course I, I'm gonna do. He, Kaylee and him, they should fly home with all of us. There is, you don't ever get, either it's points or miles. I'm um, just something to keep in mind when you are thinking about using points and miles. Most of the time it doesn't cover taxes and fees. Um, and so like our hotel, we have to pay like $200 in taxes and fees at the hotel when we get there. Um, and then today when I booked the remaining flight um, with miles, I did have to pay $16.80 for three flights on Jason's account and $20 for four tickets on my account. But still $16 and $20 $36 is not that much to pay for seven plane ticket home from Hawaii. I think that's a pretty good deal, plus the 75. So $100 to fly seven people home from Hawaii. So I think I did pretty good. Ashley also put away all of her laundry. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they invite a mind near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me when? doesn't come straight home from school. And I'm like, where did you go? She's like, oh, just hanging out in the car. <laughs> the girl after my own heart, but I'm gonna tell her to be. Ashley is asleep in front of the fireplace. Come, so be quiet when you come in. I have to go and get Chelsea from school in like 40 minutes. Um, she was supposed to have a choir bash today at the high school. And then it's canceled. So I have to go pick her up, um, cause I'm not, yeah, she doesn't have a snow wrap. Um, I was gonna say something else. So I did pretty good. I did that for a trip to Japan and Hawaii all at the same time, not bad. I know it's expensive. Um, the Japan side is obviously like really expensive. We are waiting on 
um, this last fundraiser um, for the team to bring down the cost of the hotel, which we haven't fully booked yet, which that's what we're going to talk about this weekend. We're hoping that cost comes down to like hundreds of dollars. We're hoping it's not over a thousand. <laughs> we're hoping it's just a few hundred dollars. And as it, from what I can tell in the textile fundraiser that we're doing, people are gathering some stuff. We're hoping to get, to raise thousands of dollars from that. So thank you. Um, so not bad. And we want to teach our kids so that we can go do fun things, but we need to pay for them, which is why they're paying for part of their plane ticket. And, um, I have to book, now that I've booked all the other stuff, I can actually book Kaylee and Jacob's flights to go to Hawaii. Um, and now I know the time frame for me, how long it's going to take us in customs. I can eyeball when I want them to arrive in Hawaii. I just don't want them to arrive. They won't arrive before us because the flight from here to, to Kauai, um, it won't. If, if anything, I can per almost perfectly time it. They actually might ha fly to Honolulu while we're still in Honolulu in customs. So there's a chance that we could actually fly all together. So I just haven't booked that end of it, but I'm not paying for that. So when I book that, I actually just might go ahead and... Um, well, I'll book it, but then they just need to pay me back for it. Because um, that's their end of it. If they would like to go to Hawaii with us, then they need to pay for that. So, anyway, I had fun just kind of sitting here at my new little decorated desk. I have decided that up here in this space up there, remember how I like redid it up there? I am going to, I'm in, in a search for what photo company to order um, a big print, a bunch of prints, but like I want, I want a big picture of the beach. I think I'm gonna use the one from um, our family photo session. There's a cute little dog in the photo, um, but it's the beach at, um, where we got our photos done. What is the name of that beach? You guys are gonna know. You're gonna remember where we went and got our photos taken at. But I did get a picture of the beach that day and I want to remember that. So I'm going to get a big, huge, like big, big pic. Um, like I wanted it on a poster board um, from Walgreens, but then I realized for the cost, it was like $30. I can find some of these canvas companies that like are offering $16 canvases for that size. So I just need to like hone in on that order and order that one plus our family photo and like a picture of the girls to put in here, but then different ones to put out there on the wall, which is what I've always wanted to do um, with those Hawaii family photos. It's what I initially got the photos done for, is to put them out there. I just haven't ordered them. It's hard for me to pull that plug, one cost-wise and like deciding on what photos, but we've decided the photos. I need to find a company that is just running a deal. I should have done that during the holidays. I just didn't get, I didn't get to it. So I feel like I can breathe. I feel like there's things on, on checkout, on um, checking, there are things on people's like lists that are the things you really, really need to do. And it's just, my anxiety goes up when I'm like, I know it's on my list, but I really don't want to do these things or they cause me a lot of stress. Um, and now I can officially like check off that uh, book Hawaiian flights. I need to book, I'm going to put on here separately book J and K and J and C's. Um, Kauai flight, K-A-U-A-I, because that one is separate than our family's flight. I just wanted to show you like the math that I do. Like this is what I had prearranged. I'm not showing you the actual flight information that I wrote down here. Um, but this is like the math that I end up doing. Like we have three adult tickets and one child ticket, which that worked for that flight, but this one didn't. I needed that many miles to book all of these flights. It was $16.80, like I said. And then this one, I needed to buy 2,400 miles. Um, it cost of $75. So the $75 plus $16.80 was not bad at all. Not not bad for a flight home. Um, but this is the um, all the work that I do to make things happen. All right, in a couple hours. This one finally had her hives kind of break free, right? Huh? You slept until three. 
And um, pretty tired still, huh? And it's already starting to, like she was clear. She had some scratch marks on her. But um, she was clear when she woke up. It's been about a half hour and it's already starting there. And then on her neck, right there. But I'm just gonna, she has cheer. So she missed all of school, which I anticipated when she fell asleep. It's just that makes, I just, it makes me fall asleep. Yeah, I know, but I, I couldn't get it was ours, and I couldn't get it to go get under control with the other medication. And you were just miserable. You cleaned your room. You put up a poster. And, and put up a poster and cleaned garbage. Like, that's how much you needed to distract your fingers from itching yourself. Even Chelsea was like, whoa. <laughs> so I knew I had to give you that medicine, and I felt bad that it made you so tired. But it just meant she well, missed all of school. Like, you could not have gone to school with how red you were and how much it hurt. So, if it happens on Saturday, I'm probably going to end up going to the have, bathroom. Well, you don't have a... Oh, well... I'm, if it does, like... If you're just home along, or home on Saturday. Yeah. You don't have competition Saturday this That's week. Okay. Which is not nice. We have an bathroom. extra day... Um, to, roll up. To, to just hopefully you can go to school tomorrow. Yeah. She is going to go to cheer right now. Um, but I, because of traffic and such, actually traffic today isn't going to be bad because everyone was kind of, it's raining. But it's like funny because like people are like, I don't want to go out. It might snow. It might ice. It's, it's not. It's like 40 degrees. It's not going to do anything. But uh, no one is out and about. Um, and so... I'm just gonna sit and wait for her. It's only an hour and a half class. And just in case she breaks out again, just told her I'll be right out front and we can go home anytime because that's what she's worried about the most. She I broke out. I wanna go because we have a game in two weeks. And if- Yeah, you're performing with the- all ready, like- You, Everyone's if you're ready. not cleared up, I'll talk to my dad again. If you're not cleared up by tomorrow, I, if it happens again tomorrow, we will do a Saturday appointment with the pediatrician. Okay? Because that's a long time. A week is a long time because it started Saturday night. Well, it was like early, but that wasn't really high because it was just like. Yeah, it, it didn't happen like, until you got home from your friend's house. It wasn't huge hives. Which we thought she was allergic to their dog, but it, this is not the case. So. Yeah. I don't know. Just feel and bad that you're. Also yeah. She just went in. See how long she lasts. I don't know. All right. So because my phone has to charge down there, I'm like at 10%. I forgot to charge it when I was at home. Um, I am going to sit here in the car and read this book and listen to my Hawaiian music. Okay. She just got done. On my arm. But I've, the shadows are kind of making it. My arm. Is there one on the arm? Yeah. Well, that's just scratch. It's just, okay, it's starting to come right there. And it's on my neck. Right here. Uh, it's not uh, that it's not much more than it was, which is good. And then all of there. Uh, that one's new. Yeah. Like, Let's go home and shower because you were dancing pretty hard in there. Like but not bad. You did a pretty good job. Not that it's your fault. I'm just saying. Yeah.